Hello there. Welcome to GCSE Physics. We're still on thermal properties and temperature. In our previous lesson, we learned about thermal expansion. Today, we're going to talk about measurement of temperature. When we say temperature, we're talking about the degree of hotness of a body. Now, temperature can be measured using any physical property that varies with temperature. Such properties are called thermometric properties. Okay, now there are certain properties that vary with temperature. Such are called thermometric properties. Now let's see the thermometric property and then the thermometer, the instrument that measures the temperature that uses that thermometric property. Now volume expansion of gas. We know that when gases are heated, they expand. This is employed in the gas thermometer. Volume expansion of liquids. We can see this in the clinical or lab thermometer. Volume expansion of solids. We can talk about the bimetallic strip thermometer. Electrical resistance. We have the resistance thermometer. And then we have the electromotive force, which is found in thermocouple. Okay. A good thermometric property of matter should vary continuously with temperature. That means that as the temperature increases, it should give a corresponding increase. Okay, It should give a corresponding reaction in the matter. Okay, A good thermometric property of matter should vary uniquely over the range of temperature to be measured. Now, when you take the clinical thermometer, it measures temperature between 32 degrees or 35 degrees to 42 degrees. Now, over here, any temperature within this range can be measured using the clinical thermometer. Okay. And then, thirdly, the matter should have its variation or it, the variation should be measurable. The thermometric substance should be very sensitive. The substance going to be used should be very sensitive so that a slight change in temperature will be able or will be seen okay a slight change in temperature will produce an effect that will be visible mm -hmm. so these are the thermometric properties and then the thermometers that they are found in and these are the things that when you are going to use the thermometric matter mm -hmm, the matter should be able to do these three things one should continuously should increase continuously with temperature. Two, should uniquely or should vary uniquely over the range of temperature to be measured. And three, should have or should be very sensitive. That means that its variation should be measurable. 